I do not want my child to be taught that just because she's black and a woman, she ain't gonna make it. I do not want my child to be taught that she needs to express herself sexually in her classroom. Our kids are not your emotional support animals. Stop treating them like that. Mama Bear ain't playing. Video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. I'm going to say this one more time. If you see this design, we made this design. Our designers made this. This is our design. Nobody can take that. You will see this in the design. And if you see this design and it, and it has this T in it, this belongs to us. If you see this design with the T removed, it still belongs to us. So don't let nobody try to trick you out to position. Don't buy it from nowhere else but from yours truly. We came up with this. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to so get notifications anytime I go live, make a video, make sure you still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment, share this video, y'all already know what to do, let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, parents are sick and tired of being sick and tired. I, I, I just love this next video, and shout out to Corey Yeshua because I saw it on his page, and he kind of gives some commentary, so I'm just going to leave his commentary in the video because I thought he did an incredible job pointing out not only the example of this mother who's, who's literally grilling them, that she will sue them. If they begin to teach critical race theory like she did in the past and another mother or at least another mother did it and was successful. Um, I think both women there in the video actually sued and won their lawsuits against the school district, teaching them LGBTQ stuff that they shouldn't be and also critical race theory. So but the reason I want to make this video is because I think that as you see more women, more moms, more parents standing up against the indoctrination in the school system, it, I think it emboldens other parents to say, you know what, I, I'm going to do my part. I don't have to be afraid. I can win in the lawsuit. I know that there's nonprofit organizations that will help you fight your lawsuit against the school district indoctrinating your children. But I, without me running my mouth too much about it, because I probably wouldn't be as nice as this lady if I encountered something of that nature. But without me running my mouth too much, I want y'all to watch this video. And shout out to Corey Yeshua again for his commentary. And then we're going to talk after the video. Go to clip. I filed the first federal lawsuit against woke indoctrination in America, in Nevada. And I live here now. And if my daughter is taught CRT at all, I will sue you. If my daughter is taught SEL at all, I will sue you. I am encouraging every parent I know to sue you. To sue every teacher, principal, every system, everybody up the chain. Because we're tired, y'all. I do not want my child to be taught that just because she's black and a woman, she ain't going to make it. I do not want my child to be taught that she needs to express herself sexually in her classroom. Our kids are not your emotional support animals. Stop treating them like that. I'm a mother. A mother, not a birthday person. I earned that right with my cellulite and my stretch marks. You're not going to do this to us. We will fight you every single day from now on. That right there was a mother by the name of Gabrielle Clark. She's now an activist. She sued her son's school over critical race theory and helped her daughter desist from the trans ideology. Parents are not playing around when it comes to their children. This is amazing and it should show these schools that parents are not just gonna sit back and let them indoctrinate children with their ideologies. Just like this mother, Jessica Cohen, who sued her daughter's school after they indoctrinated her and socially transitioned her behind her mother's back. She was just awarded $100,000. Parents don't want their children sexualized, nor do they want their children to believe they were born in the wrong body because schools want to push their ideologies on children. They don't want their children brainwashed into hating themselves for the color of their skin. Shout to this mom right here and every parent who's taking a stand. Enough is enough. Oh my God, if I wasn't at home and my wife wasn't trying to put the baby down to sleep, I would be in here screaming in celebration of mothers who saying, screw y'all, these are our children. I had a guy calling on my radio show and he was an educator, an educator, because the, the way he was talking, I, I hope he not educate nobody kids. But he had made the point that if children convey to the teacher that they want to transition, that the teacher don't have a right or obligation to tell their parents and that they shouldn't tell their parents. Because their parents may be, because the kid says that the parents may not accept their decision. I told a guy this. I said, brother, you, you work with kids all the time. 
you know that kids are, don't always tell the truth. You know that kids are not always honest. And so you having a thought process in your mind that a kid can come to you and say to you, I want, my parent is not going to like this. Maybe the kid is not telling you the truth. Maybe they just don't want their parent to know, but they haven't had the conversation with their parent. How are you going to trust a kid over their parents? If the conversation needs to be had, a kid, a, a parent needs to be informed so that you can make the proper decision in conjunction with their parent. Yeah. Ain't that right? Yeah. All right. My, my son's going to mess my whole video up because he want to talk. I know he does. But just wait on, wait a minute, Bobo. Let daddy finish this video real quick, okay? All right, so that's all I want to say. Parents need to step up. Um, looking at this video inspired me, and I hope that other parents do the same. Be empowered. Be emboldened. You have rights. Take care of your children. Don't let these people indoctrinate your children. And when they go to college and they hate God, they hate America, they hate capitalism, and you they're unrecognizable, then I, I, I believe you're going to feel bad for it. Make the decision today to stand up for your children. All right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, say bye, bye, bye. Bye. Say, see you on the next one. All right. <laughs> All right, see y'all later. I'm out.